Hello everyone, so before we start this video, if I could ask you to give United24 Media a subscribe on YouTube, I would appreciate it a lot. They put out great content and are well worth following. Now, on to today's video. Hello everyone, I thought I'd take a look here at some satellite images posted from around Bakhmut. They don't show anything of military importance, no convoys, vehicle movements, firing positions, but rather they show just how much damage has been caused to the city, and in which parts, and how the city has changed. The before images are from 2022, the after a recent, January the 4th, 2023. The arrow at the bottom is pointing south. So the first images are from the road leading south to Oputni. Oputni to the south is Russian controlled at the moment, and you can see just how intense the fighting has been. Not a building without damage, many of them just a shell remaining. What is quite interesting here is a lack of vehicle wreckage. It doesn't seem that tanks and armoured vehicles are being used in any possible push north from Oputni. Of course it could be that there's no real push here and that the front lines here are static and Russia is just merely occupying the town in a position towards Bakhmut south with a push being focused on Solidar. There are a few interesting things here though. Highlighted in blue are defensive trenches safeguarding the road. Two small ones, one either side of the road and a longer one nearby. It's impossible to tell if these are old or newly made or who built them. If new, then this could be a sign that Russia is just content to hold Oputni rather than attempt to advance from here. Also highlighted in red is a possible vehicle, but it's impossible to tell if it's military or an abandoned civilian one. Note as well there's lots of smoke in the area from recent shelling. This is a high intense high action area at the moment. Before we move on, here's this stretch of road on Deep States' map, so you can see it's pretty much no man's land right on the front line. Next image, here is the before image of a bridge over the Bakhmutovka River. The arrow is pointed to the south once again. This bridge is one of five, one of which is a railway bridge crossing the river around Bakhmut. This section of Bakhmut isn't as badly damaged as the image we just saw. Straight away though in the centre you can see the bridge is down. Though I don't know if Russia hit it to stop the Ukrainian resupply, or if Ukraine did it to impede Russia if they advanced to here. I believe I remember hearing a um, report a few weeks ago, a few months ago, that Ukraine did take down one of its own bridges crossing the river here, so this could be it. But then, given the fact Bakhmut holds and has held for a while, why would Ukraine need to take down one of its own bridges now and hinder their own resupply route? But honestly, I can't tell. I have no idea who took the bridge down. There's also no pontoon next to a bridge, so I expect Ukraine's resupply route over the river is either further to the north or further to the south. There isn't too much to look at this image here, but I have highlighted two buildings in blue. These are ones which have been targeted. I've also highlighted a few craters which you can see. But this area isn't as bad, it's avoided most of the damage. Here's its position, just under two kilometers from the front. So let's move on to our next image. Here is an intersection northeast of Bakhmut. As with the others, the arrow is pointing to the south. And just as a side note, the reason I didn't really orientate the images so they were the correct way is just because of how they are taken. Switching them around will make it very difficult to view on YouTube. So now the recent image from January. This area has clearly seen a lot of action. The fields are just absolutely potholed with craters. The complex in the centre is gone. That building, by the way, was a petrol station. Reports say Russia suffered high casualties in this area around the petrol station at some point. It may be that it was being used as a sort of firing position and then was hit by artillery or high mars. I've also added a direction marker, so that there is the road leading to Bakhmut at the bottom. The road at the top leading to Bakhmutska, which is now occupied by Russia. The road to the right doesn't head to a specific town, but it does loop slightly towards the east where Russian occupied territory is. So this could easily be used as a road to make a push towards this location. Now the trenches around the crossroads look old. 
I would say these were built by Ukraine to defend this crossroads, but these are now overrun, as we will see in a minute. Highlighted now is a trench still being dug. It looks to be a fairly long trench, and you can even see the excavator, so it's still being built. And I really don't envy the chap who has to sit out in the open, this close to the front, in a digger, digging a trench on the front line. I can't help but wonder if this is a civilian team that they're forcing to work here, rather than Russians operating it. It could be why Ukraine hasn't hit the excavators with artillery yet. But you can tell that Russia is reinforcing this area, this crossroads, just in case there's a possible counter-offensive pushing in this direction. I've also highlighted on the road itself what looks to be a burnt out vehicle. It's too hard to be sure, but if it is, it looks to be sort of aiming towards the Ukrainian line, so it could well be Russian. This here is a key area to hold, allowing a push southwest or northwest, and of course, to help defend a counter offensive coming from the southwest or from the northwest, which is why there's that big um, long trench being built. Here we can see an industrial zone to the east of Bakhmut. The arrow is pointing to the south. So now let's take a look at the image from January. So yeah, this area, unfortunately, is just gone. So many artillery holes. All the buildings here are either gone or heavily damaged. This area is Russian controlled and it's impossible to tell if the damage here was caused during the initial fighting for the area or afterwards with Ukraine targeting these buildings as Russia was using them as a sort of forward operating bases, housing troops here, using them for mortar teams and that sort of thing. But it's clear from all these images that once Russia is pushed back from Bakhmut, the rebuilding is going to take years and cost a fortune. These buildings are here, the road leading east. We have seen quite a few videos of artillery hitting buildings in and around this area along this key important supply road. So Russia are using the buildings which are remaining here. So these are all key targets for Ukrainian artillery. So as we saw in the satellite images, a lot of destruction in certain areas, west of Bakhmut and south especially. I expect the same is true for other areas around the city, but we didn't get satellite images of them. Surprisingly, the central area near the bridge isn't. I wonder if it may be possible that Ukraine is avoiding grouping troops and equipment there to avoid it being hit, to avoid civilians getting caught up in it. Now this is just one city, we've seen similar images, photos and videos from other cities which look the same now. Mariupol is one of the most notable ones. Now a shout out here to some new Patreons, so big thanks to Henrik, John, Fred, Sunset Watcher, Walter, Rasmus, Darren and Arnie. Thanks very much for supporting the channel, I appreciate it a lot, and I'm really glad that you enjoy my videos. So not too much else to discuss here, I have put the base images on my Patreon page for free. No need to join them to see them, if anyone wants to look in detail. Thanks for watching, and take care everyone.